This is what's in store for you. The ultimate fight of all time. Robots versus humans. Are you ready? Let's get ready to rumble! So you can take a seat now. I've got something for you to watch. And I'll be watching too. The human and the machine, the lines are blurring. From truckies to lawyers, artificial intelligence is coming. Oh, wow. Actually, it's already here. So I didn't realize that it would just be able to tell you, hey, here's the exact answer to your question. We'll challenge your thinking about AI. Same category, 1600. AI is going to become like electricity. Automation isn't going to affect some workers. It's going to affect every worker. Now a new and unexpected threat to Frank and other truck drivers is coming on fast. Last year, this driverless truck in the US became the first to make an interstate delivery. It travelled nearly 200 kilometres on the open road with no one at the wheel. No human, that is. The idea of robot vehicles on the open road seemed ludicrous to most people just five years ago. Now just about every major auto and tech company is developing them. So what changed? An explosion in artificial intelligence. But AI experts believe robot cars will improve so much that humans will eventually be banned from driving. I talked to Annie um, in Sydney. You said you thought in terms of the time spent on tasks that doctors do, yeah. that AI might be able to handle maybe five, maybe at the outside 10%. How do you see that now? Uh, definitely a lot more. I'd say it can go up to 40, 50%. Using it as a tool rather than taking over, I'd say it's going to happen. The percentage for doctors is 21%. But that's likely to grow in the coming decades, as it will for every profession and every job. We've been through technological upheaval before, but this time, it's different. One of the challenges will be that the, the AI revolution happens probably much quicker than the Industrial Revolution. We don't have to build big steam engines. We just have to copy code. And that takes almost no time and no cost. There is a very serious question whether there will be as many jobs left as before. There will certainly be a lot of job disruption. Um, because what's going to happen is the robots will be able to do everything better than us. I'm, inclu I'm including, I mean, all of us. There's like something like 12% of jobs are transport. Transport will be one of the first things to go fully autonomous. But when I say everything, like the robots will be able to do everything. I have exposure to the very, the very most cutting edge um, AI. Um, uh, and I think people should be really concerned about it. Every year, the Swiss resort of Davos hosts the World Economic Forum. On the agenda for the first time in January 2016 was automation and the likely prospect of five million jobs disappearing around the globe over the next four years alone. This year's World Economic Forum in Davos centers on a revolution from above, the fourth industrial revolution, or Industry 4.0. Two and a half thousand business leaders, scientists and politicians are discussing the deployment of robots, digitalization and the networking of machines, artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. The founder of the event, Klaus Schwab, calls it possibly the greatest challenge facing the world. An internal survey conducted by the New York office of Deutsche Bank on Wall Street predicts a crisis of unprecedented proportions on the labor market. For the first time, new technical developments are set to destroy more jobs than they create. Fewer and fewer workers will be needed for the same output, a change with far-reaching consequences for industry and society. Why? Is America so robophobic? If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. What do you think of the upcoming AI robot revolution? Please leave a comment and let us know. Do you think robots will be able to replace your job? Let us know in the comment section. Here are a few more videos. Just click on video icon to watch.